Hello, in this video I will show you how to upload a hex file onto the Arduino Nano or the Uno or many other of the Arduino variants that have a USB port that can connect directly to the computer. This is regards to, for example, my branches clone, which has a hex file, and also the Gris, which also has a hex file. Both of these projects use an Arduino Nano on the backside as the brains of those two modules. So first of all you need the hex file of course. You can download that by clicking it and pressing the download raw file there and you will have the hex file on your computer. So how does the Arduino IDE, if we go into the Arduino IDE, it Basically, when you press the upload button, what uh, the IDE does is it actually makes a hex file. Uh, so if you've ever wondered what all the text down here is, is all the commands that it makes to, to build the hex file and then finally upload it. So going through here, we are somewhere Somewhere up here we are done with the hex file and then there's a, pro a command called avrdude. And this is the command that uploads the hex file to the Arduino. So you put the processor info and the COM port instructions here. Uh, and then you have the hex file here that you've made. This is all you can download the AVR Dude or just use the AVR Dude if you know exactly how to write this. That works totally fine. But of course, someone on the internet have made a GUI for this on blog zackkemble.net. So sex electronics blog. I'll put the link in the description. You have AVR Dudes, a GUI for AVR Dude. So that is what we are going to use. You can download it here. It is, you download it and it's a simple setup. I'm not going to go through that uh, and you will end up with this interface. So we're going to choose a programmer. There are lots and lots and lots of programmers. Uh, in our case, because we are using an Arduino Nano connected directly to the computer, we're just going to pick Arduino. The port will come up here. The, it's not here now because my Arduino is not connected. Uh, and the so we choose the COM port and then the depending on where you buy your Arduino Nanos and how new it is, it is either the new bootloader or the old bootloader. And this, so the baud rate, if you have the old bootloader, the baud rate should be 57600. And if you have the new bootloader, it should be 115200. So 115200, what's that? 115200 is the baud rate for the new bootloader and 57600 for the old bootloader. If you try to program it with the wrong baud rate, nothing will happen. You will get an error message and nothing will happen. You won't destroy anything, it just won't work. So then you just press stop and you change the baud rate and then you can program it again. You need the hex file. So we find the hex file we have downloaded on our downloads. There's the branches. We need to change the CPU. So here we make sure that we have the correct CPU for our board. In our case on the Arduino Nano, it should be the 80 mega 328P. And the rest we don't need to do. So let's connect our Nano to the computer. And now we have our COM4, so that should be our Arduino Nano 
because it wasn't there before. And I think this is the old bootloader, but just to make sure, just to show you how it would look like when it's wrong, let me start with doing it the wrong way. And if you press program, you see that it actually starts the AVR dude command, and then it writes all this these commands and the hex file. So we get programmer is not responding not in sync and that means we have the wrong baud rate so you just press stop you go up change to the correct baud rate for the old bootloader in this case then and we press program and you can see it just flashes by similar commands as you would see in the in here recognize these commands reading writing and then you get that here as well so now you have programmed your arduino nano and you can use it in whichever project you, this was meant for this works for any hex file that is meant for the arduino nano or the arduino environment as such very important to have that in mind hope this helped take care bye